TDS recently released a new intermediate mode, and oh my gosh, it is crazy. There's a new boss that has an insane ground pound as an attack, and has insane animations and an amazing design. Not only that, but there's a handful of really cool new enemies with awesome designs and animations, and even new modifiers to make them stronger. One of these new enemies is the slime, which has one of the funniest animations ever where it front flips when spawning, but it also spawns from enemies with a slime modifier. Another new enemy is the reaver that has the tank modifier. This modifier makes it where it can only take one damage every time it is hit. This means you have to use towers like minigunner with fast fire rates rather than slow fire rate towers like ranger. The last enemy I want to talk about is called the goal, which I actually showed earlier. It has a modifier where it regens its HP, which can be really annoying. While the goal introduces this new modifier, other enemies such as necromancers, breakers, and skeletons can all also contain this modifier. There's also three other enemies with amazing designs, but I'm not really going to talk about them because they don't have any unique modifiers. But I really do like their designs. But there are still two other modifiers I haven't talked about yet, the nimble modifier and the bloated modifier. The nimble modifier will double the speed of any zombie that has this modifier, while the bloated modifier will double the HP of any zombie that has the modifier. The last thing I want to talk about, but certainly not least, is Patient Zero. This boss might be one of my favorite design bosses, and has some of the best animations of any boss. As I mentioned earlier, I also love the ground pound attack it has. It's just amazing. Overall, I think this update is amazing, and I cannot wait to see what TDS does in the future.